I'm coming to you from my rooftop here in San Francisco. And you know, I like to talk to you about lots of things, our consciousness, our psychology, our perspectives, and definitely our practices. Today, I wanna to talk to you a little bit more about the physical therapy aspects of what we can do with things like yoga as a therapy, and especially when we allow it to be personalized, which is so important that we're making sure we're doing the right poses, the right exercises, the right movement to fix the cause of our pain, if we're having any sorts of pain issues, and making sure we're not doing anything that's making the pain worse, or even the cause of the pain. So as we look to address and even fix something like pain in the body of any sort, with a more holistic approach, with the use of something like the physical therapy, although it's also energy work and alignment work we're doing in various ways with something like yoga. And it does even help us with our psychology and our mindset, which is all part of helping us move through and shift our experience with pain and even resolve and let go of our experience of pain and move forward into life with less pain and even no pain and even having ways that we're now preventing getting into new pain because of life. So what's different about a holistic approach to fixing our pain is that the holistic approach embraces that the human body, and we now know this more than ever with research, that the human body is built to know what to do to fix itself. It's built to heal. It's built to replenish. It's built to regenerate. And really, when we give it the right conditions, the right stimulus, the right environment for such changes to return to homeostasis, to do that healing that it's built to do, but the body does do this. So one of the big differences in holistic medicine is this belief in the human body and what's possible, what's changeable, and even how it's built to heal itself, to restore, replenish, regenerate. So when we bring this into our awareness and we approach pain from this approach versus traditional medicine, which is often kind of doing the opposite, where it's now just acknowledging that there's a limitation with the human body. And so traditional medicine is gonna bring in maybe some sort of way to supplement, some sort of way to replace the body's ability to do such a thing, whether it may be with some medicine, with some surgery. And although it may sometimes create relief, it usually creates limitation and it usually does the opposite for the body where now the body is no longer doing its job and it's now relying on that medicine or that hardware to function, right? And thus it always means more and more limitation and often doesn't cure the pain. If you haven't noticed, a lot of traditional approaches are not fixing pain. And that's why so many of us who are trying traditional approaches, whether it's use of the medicine to just relieve the pain, whether it's use of surgery, which works some of the time, but in my experience, not a lot of the time, or other traditional medicine remedies, which are about supplementing the body and replacing the body's ability to do such things, and thus stopping the body from having the chance to do that regenerating, to do that healing, and to start to be able to do those functions again like it's built to do. So it's actually preventing the body sometimes from thriving, from doing its job, from doing what it can. So in a holistic approach with something like personalized yoga therapy, what I get to do with people, we get to use specific exercises in a therapeutic way, bring in things like that breath and other elements that help, but addressing the cause of the pain and restoring the body into good alignment, into the conditions, into the environment, giving the body the right stimulus to change and it does take action it does take more like daily action so it is more for the type of person who's ready to take some action take it into your own hands and so whether or not you've gotten help from those traditional practitioners wherever you're at if you're ready to approach this more holistically which is going to involve you doing more but the good news is when you're doing the right things it works right away and pain is relieved almost instantly if not always instantly in my experience when we approach it holistically and really fixing the cause of the problem which things like chronic pain are often about things like our skeletal alignment and so when we do things to fix that skeletal alignment we fix the pain so i always get thrilled to see the results 
with the people I get to work with, but it is those people who are ready for a holistic approach, more acknowledging that the body is built to heal, it's built to regenerate, it's built to thrive and strengthen and actually, in a lot of ways, get better with age, not just decline and decrease. So it involves a different approach, a different mentality with what we believe about the human body and what's possible and what's changeable and how it's built to work. And yeah, then employing that, utilizing that with the right daily action to fix the cause of your pain and thus ease you up from the strain and the drain of pain, right? Help you move on to better things in life and also build in some ways that now you're gonna prevent yourself from getting into future pain or limitations. So you can you stay away from those docs, right? Appreciating those traditional medicine practitioners and all that they're doing, but also taking on the holistic approaches, which I, which I think even those traditional practitioners nowadays agree that it's up to us in the end to take care of ourselves, to fix the cause of our pain. However we might have used traditional medicine or still might be, I would vote that bringing in the holistic approach, the mentality, the awareness of what's possible, and then actually doing what you need to do each day to get your body that right stimulus in that right environment, give it the right conditions to heal and change, and thus get you out of pain. So it works no matter where you're at, no matter how long the pain's been going on, no matter how old you are. And I'm here to help if you could use some specific guidance with that. So hope that makes sense to you, how some of those differences between a holistic approach and traditional medicine can really change how our lives are gonna go in the future, what sorts of things we are and aren't gonna be able to do, and often just whether or not we're gonna actually be able to get out of that pain or whether it's gonna be something that haunts us the rest of our lives and maybe even more pain that often just goes with it if we don't fix the cause. So, so happy to share the good news with you really and hope that's helpful for you today. See you guys soon. Namaste.